Ah, uh, a bird has appeared. Mm. One. Wow. This is going to be quite a, quite a game. Well, I could always top deck a Cherish Ball or an ADP, I guess. I've been lied to. Yep, it's Pidgey Blounds. There's been some sort of mistake. Uh, do I have any Ultra Beasts? Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a no. No Cherish Ball? No Cherish Ball. No Cherish Ball. Um, I think I get this and I'm just going to go for the high roll. Always punished and never lucky. Uh, oh, I did, I did this to myself. If I switch and I get the Cherish Ball, the best I can do is just get the End Resolve off and I don't actually... I can't attack because I don't have double switch, so... <sighs> what have I already gotten rid of? I haven't gotten rid of any switches. I would like to just hit the End Resolve here and have it ready to go. That's the thing. Okay. Liking ADP, yeah, I've liked it a lot. It's been my favorite deck to play. Um, just right now, I'm not getting the best RNGs with uh, trying to hit the ADP when I need it, but uh, my list is a little greedy, so I don't really mind. So, do we go this first? We'll go on to resolve first. We just need one energy off of this, please. Thank you. And then, um, we'll play this down and pass. All right, so we're going to hit him with the turn three alter creation, I think. Some pretty good stuff. Or we could just wombo them and uh, go for the tag switch attached to Keldeo GX, knock out the Heatran GX. But I, I don't think I'll be going with that one. 
Oh no. What are they to be doing? Do they have a, what? Oh, okay. They're just softening me up. Let's go. Poke Gear. Ends Resolve is not what I want, but we have another Poke Gear, so we're just going to get this Ends Resolve out of here. What I need is a tag switch one of these water energies to the Keldeo, and then we'll be off to the races. So here's a Cynthia. And we Cynthia. No tag switch yet, but do not fear, it could be on the way. Mm -mm. I think I go for the, uh, the Dedenne, wait, what? Okay, one Dedenne down and one Dedenne in the prizes. So we're not going for the Dedenne, but I will get an ADP. I will bench him, bench him real good. I could go switch into Rachi Stellar Wish to try to hit this tag switch. Um, I would still have one switch left in the deck and also both of my Malolanas. I actually think this is pretty important to hit a tag switch here. So I'm very tempted to go for it. I think I will go for it. I don't think I can win the game if I don't do this. <laughs> we got a reset stamp. Okay. Well, I need a reset stamp and then a damn good ends resolve next turn. So yeah, we'll just go back into this and Altered Creation it up. Should I have went for that double switch play? It was not the safe or the smart thing to do, but there was a high risk and some sort of reward there so i wanted to try it out and uh obviously it didn't pan out well for us but we went for it Wait, what just happened? They hot burn GX us instead of steaming. Oh, they had a hot burn GX us. That's right. Because the HP on these tag teams are absurd. I forgot. Um. Is the GX super important? Yeah, the GX, especially against a single prize deck like this, we need the GX so we can take our extra prizes. Hmm. I think we promote to the Jirachi. Okay, we'll grab this. Um, do I Stellar Wish or do I End Resolve first? End Resolve could thin my deck and give me a better chance of hitting the Tag Switch, or it could just get rid of both of my Tag Switches. Uh, I've been going for the high risk plays all game here, so I don't think now's any time to start playing it safe. So if we do this, does it even matter about the Stellar Wish? So Stellar Wish gets me a switch, but all that does... Hmm. We'll see what Ends Resolve gets me. Zero energy it got me zero energy very cool very cool the 
they're playing custom catchers. Let's see. I'm going to assume they aren't going to hit another custom catcher. 27 card deck, 8 cards in hand, uh, 2 custom catchers already down. I want to wait to reset stamp them. Uh, so I can just let them take this knockout, go down to 2, and then I reset stamp them. Airmail. They can dig and see if they hit these this custom catcher though. Thinning out the deck. Retreat, getting rid of all those energies. They have a great catcher. Of course they do. They're playing great catcher and custom catchers. Honestly, this deck is working really well for them, and I think they have it built pretty well. Well, we're just going to go for the high roll again here. Send up the Rachi, see if we can end resolve down three energy onto our ADP. Stamp them. Yep, here we go. There's one energy. So we need two energy off of Ender Resolve and then a switch off of Stellar Wish. There's either one or zero switch left in the deck depending on our prizes. So let's see. There's the switch in there. We have a very small deck. Ender Resolve. Give us the energy cards, please. There we go. Stamp, switch into this, and ultimate ray. We will not be getting out any energy because we don't want to deck out. And we'll take two prizes. This is where he hits Fion. You know, I was thinking the same thing. And honestly, I'd consider Fion in this deck. I think Fion's just an all around good card. But if he hits Fion, I'm going to be pissed. Also, for the record, I do think Baby Blounds is very good. Um, but. Uh, if I if I got just slightly more lucky than I got this entire game, I think I would have been fine. Okay, whew. Thought we were gonna see like welder and energy down. Uh, I just do nothing, right? Just ultimate ray. Nope. We will not be choosing an energy. Fire Crystal for three is something bad about to happen. They Fire Crystal before airmail, that's pretty weird. Oh no. It's happening, folks. He needs one energy on his Blacephalon, and he needs three energy. Three energy, count him, three energy in that. Six energy in the hand. Three energy on the Blacephalon, six energy in the hand. What are we doing here? Welder. Wait, he can never knock us out with Mind Blown.
in before Beastite, I would cry. I would lose my mind if he had a Beastite. Bursting Burn. Okay, we have the Malolana, so we win. GG. Whew. I would have lost my absolute marbles if he had a Beastite. That was a good game. That was a flipping grind though to come back from. If he attacked with Heatran, he'd win most likely, right? Um, I'm trying to remember. So he retreated and attacked with the baby Blown. Oh, oh. I thought you meant like earlier in the game when he retreated and attacked with a Blown instead of Heatran. No, right there, yeah, Fion, if he attacked the teacher in there. Another Mally. Unless we top deck a uh, ADP here, I don't think we're getting turn one GX attack. Yeah, I'm very good at opening Malamar. I'm sorry, opening Drampa. This guy's playing Mally Guzzlord, calling it now. As long as it's not Clefairy Doll Fighting Dojo, I'm good. Like, absolutely no cap at all. Clefairy Doll Fighting Dojo absolutely wrecks uh, ADP. Alright, we have the acro bike here. That's our hope. Didn't get it. Okay. Take Chaotic Swell and play Cynthia. Not taking any chances, we're attaching here for turn, then we'll pass. No signs yet of the of a Nagana Del Guzzlord. That's good.
probably has a secret one metal, one ultra. That only exists in their deck if you're playing the mirror match. They sideboard it in. Alrighty. Uh, let's go gear. Get out things that we might be needing. Um, I probably want a Keldeo. Or another ADP sounds good too, just because of Malolana. We'll just get another ADP. Grab the old AD Pizzle. To the I'm feeling lucky part. <laughs> That's very, very true, Gassy. And guess what? I'm feeling lucky. Oh, yeah. Mmm. We did it. I have to say, this, this feels better than playing a deck with just four welders in it. Uh, it's actually fun. They've got a pretty okay setup going on over there. But now I win in three turns. Still stuck with Welder. Well, don't worry about the Rushy Roms. I don't think that deck is like tier one. ADPs are very good though. Abilities are it's going to be good just because no one's respecting it at the moment. Yeah, everybody hyped up Rushy Rom because it was the new thing doing a lot of damage. Uh, I think I just go Malo Lana here, right? Yeah. What an insane hand. All skill, by the way. There's no way anything bad happens to this Arceus Dialga Palkia in the active, right? I'm gonna put two here and one here. Yeah, big blounds is good. Both blounds are good right now. And every time we go into a new format, people forget about, like, just naturally good cards from previous sets, like Reset Stamp. Um, so, like, I think Baby Blounds... Baby Blounds is definitely super weak to Reset Stamp, but, like, decks are lower on Reset Stamp at the moment, I believe. Yeah, Baby Blounds loses to Malamar, so you just take the... You just hope that you're beating Malamar. Did the game freeze again on Ultimate Ray? Nope. Okay, we're good. They were using Spell Tag.
I've never played the stage two Charizard myself, but when it was when it first came out, I hated playing against it because like it's actually a very like a very powerful single prize rogue deck. Like if it gets set up, it's beating most of the things it's supposed to beat, right? Or at least it was in that meta. It was like Zoro Rock and Zapdos, Pika Rom. It was like pretty good there. Oh wow, Ultimate Ray is insane. Like, for them. <laughs> Imagine if they had an SB Oxus down, they just ultimate, they copy my Ultimate Ray, put three energy on it. Yeah, imagine if that was Fairy Mimic you. Wait, what's happening? Cash. The the prophecy. <laughs> There's a dark energy on a Ditto, but Ditto does not evolve into Nag Naganadel Guzzler tag team. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Um, I don't think I need to do anything, do I? I mean, if I hit a Malolani here, that would just be insane. So sure, we'll see if I hit a Malolana. Nah. Hmm. I'll touch here and ultimate ray. I also attach the extra energy here. Who knows if a tag switch play could come up, but like at this point, what could really happen to us, right? I need everybody to search what stage ones use dark energy right now and tell me what's about to happen. <laughs> Maybe it's a Weavile GX to move the single dark energy. Weavile GX moves the single dark energy to the Ganadel Guzzlord. And then. Okay. Scoop. Interesting game. 